Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome to Rock Sock Arrive episode 15. And boy, 2016 has been the worst year probably, probably in the 21st century. I mean, I would say it's worse than 2001. I mean, sure, the Twin Towers being attacked happened, but I would say cumulatively this year has been way worse. And uh, with some of the things that have been happening in the last month alone, I think that the coming years are going to get even worse than that. I'm just going to be honest about that. So, first thing I want to mention is the death of a lot of prominent celebrities this year. And I'm not going to name all of them, just some of them that uh, I, I come to mind. So, the first one's David Bowie. You know, David Bowie made a lot of good music back in the day. And, you know, I have some of the songs. And so do my parents. And also Prince died, of course. And I remember that after Prince died, my dad would play a lot of his music all day. I mean, obviously he stopped after a few days, but the I would say the week or so after he died, he would play the music all day. It was very uh, interesting. Just like I remember when Michael Jackson died, there was a lot of other people who played his music. My, my parents aren't really that into Michael Jackson, but when Michael Jackson died, there was a lot of people who played his songs, and... You know, his album shot up the roof after he died. Because a lot of people were, of course, you know, remembering their childhoods or whatever. And just remembering his uh, music and listening to it after he died. I guess to celebrate his, uh, or I guess to mourn his death or something. And of course, another thing that's happened is there's been a lot of mediocre movies this year. You know, it was Batman vs. Superman, which honestly... It, I didn't really like it. I thought it was even worse than Man of Steel. I mean, Man of Steel was, eh, but Batman v Superman, I'd say, was just bad. And you also had the Killing Joke, which honestly really disappointed me. You know, like, I mean, firstly, they add a whole bunch of stuff to it that didn't need to be added, and it, I think, it really distracted from the story. Plus, as a some people ha that have reviewed the movie have pointed out they took out a lot of what made the comic so memorable. So, like, a lot of the little things that Alan Moore added to the comic to make it, you know, more, like, to give it more depth, let's say, they didn't really add that in this, uh, in this movie. So, obviously, the movie didn't turn out to be as good. It was very shallow, I would say. And, of course, there was Suicide Squad, which I didn't see, but a lot of other people did, and they either didn't like it or they thought it was meh. So, you know, that got mixed critical reception. So let's just say this movie wasn't that great when it came to... I mean, sorry, this year wasn't that great when it came to movies. Although there were some good movies, so I'm going to talk about that later. We're going to talk about the few good things about this year. And, of course, another thing is... of. Uh, the economy. You know, the economy's gotten even worse this year. People have been talking about, you know, recession. And there's been more talk about it happening this year than any other year. Granted, it didn't happen, but, you know, the markets were pretty, uh, let's say, unstable this year at certain points. And, you know, I see more and more people losing their jobs. More and more people, like, you know, across the country, the you know, drugs are becoming out of control, even in, you know, the white communities now. Like, it's really bad, I hear. Which brings me to my next point, which I'm sure will make a lot of people uncomfortable, but whatever, I have to talk about it anyway. There's also all the racial tension that's gone on in America, particularly since Trump's win. And, you know, it's really, really disturbing to me. And, you know, even before Trump's win, there was the attacks against unarmed people across America, particularly against unarmed black people. And, you know, just a lot of hostilities, a lot of, you know, anger, particularly coming from a bunch of racists. And again, I'm just keeping it like 100% real. It's mostly the racists that are the problem here. Though I... I suppose I could go on a long tangent about that, but, you know, for the sake of keeping this video reasonably short, I'm not going to do that. So, now I want to talk about the good things that happened this year. 
the very few good things. Well, for one, we got the best arc in Dragon Ball Super. I mean, obviously, it doesn't compare to the bad things, obviously, but, you know, it's something. But anyway, we got the Future Trunks arc this year, which I felt it didn't end on a good note, but at least started pretty good. So, I would say the arc is overall meh, but, you know. Uh, also, I would say that uh, there were some good movies this year, such as Deadpool at the near the beginning of the year. Like, I thought Deadpool was pretty good. I mean, it wasn't great, unlike some people who think it was great, but I thought it was pretty good, given what it was. My problem with Deadpool, though, was that it was a little too bland. You know, the basic story was pretty bland. It was, like, the only stuff that made it good, I feel like the stuff that lifted it up was Deadpool's personality, basically. And the semi-unconventional delivery. Like, th that's what made the movie good, but I would say the basic you know, plot and the villain or whatever, that really dragged it down. But whatever, I suppose they had to play it somewhat safe just in case. Hopefully in Deadpool 2 they'll go all out with the crazy storylines and stuff. So, there was also Captain America Civil War, which I felt was probably maybe the best of the Captain America movies. It depends on how you look at it, though, but, you know, I would say it's the best one. Also, I did kind of like, I th let's see, I think it came out this year, but... I did kind of like the uh, Justice League vs. Teen Titans movie. I think it was the best movie, DC animated movie in a long time. And though I don't think it's as good as, you know, some of the other ones I like, like Batman The Dark Knight Returns or Under the Red Hood and those kind of movies. Like, I think those are still very good. Oh, and Flashpoint. I really love Flashpoint. So... Trying to think, is there anything else? Oh, and I suppose this year uh, I wasn't doing as well financially, but then again, last year I actually, you know, I was in college and I had a job and whatnot. But this year, I'm not going to get into too much detail, but let's just say my finances were pretty, pretty rocky this year. So I suppose it's also a bad year for me personally because my finances were not really what they should have been, let's say. And, you know, I'm not going to get too much into that, but I'm just throwing it out there. So anyway, that's just my general thoughts about 2016. Frankly, I can't wait till this year is over. But I don't feel 2017 or 18 or 19 will be much better, particularly with the kind of people who will be running our government. I mean, sure, they were... I suppose I could go into a separate thing about that, but... Let's just say the kind of people that are running our government for at least four to maybe eight years. Yeah, like I don't really like the direction this country's going. Let me just leave it at that. Anyway, so what do you think about 2016? Do you think it's the worst year ever, or at least in the 21st century? And if so, please share your thoughts on that. I will see you guys later.